Are we back? We back, boo. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing okay and everyone is doing well. I cannot believe we're sitting down. By the way, do you guys like this? It's a little beanbag. <laughs> but I cannot believe we're sitting down and recording this video. Yesterday I posted a life update video because I've literally been off YouTube for like almost three or four months now. Um, and so much has happened in that time and I've been trying my best to look after my mental health and my personal health and yeah, just a lot going on so I do want to give a very 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 big thank you um to everyone who not only showed me love and support on that video but just people in general who constantly check on me and see how I'm doing I didn't know if I was going to do reviews this season so I spoke to my family and also my sister who tore my singlets okay my sister said you better pick up that camera and you better record <laughs> um so I'm easing my way back into content again now that I'm feeling 100% I'm not sure these reviews are going to be daily just yet I think I'm also considering doing them weekly but let me know now below. I, I don't know. I'm trying to like really piece all the puzzles together in my head and everything. But it feels really good to be back. And you guys know I'm a chatterbox. So there's a lot to discuss. I cannot believe I've had this back for another eight weeks. But honey, let's get into it. So as I usually and always say, number one, if you haven't yet subscribed, what exactly is going on? Guys, I'm praying that by the end of this season, we would hit 30k subscribers because you guys be watching, but you ain't subscribing. What's going on? <laughs> okay, so definitely be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also be sure to like, comment, follow me on my Instagram and also on my Twitter. Get cozy and comfy with a hot Ribena. I have a green juice today, not a hot Ribena, but you guys know the drift. And ah, let's get into this review. Alrighty, so today we are going to be doing episode one and episode two because you guys know I didn't post the video yesterday. So yeah, we're going to do episode one and episode two today day and we're going to just start off with the introduction so the intro was new I do feel like it was the production was on yeah it was on 100 it felt like a low-key intro to like an EastEnders episode I don't know it was definitely a lot but as you guys know we were introduced to um by the way just a side note I'm actually very happy that I didn't record a review yesterday because guys all these oil babes they actually look the same. Like, it, it wasn't until today's episode that I was able to say, oh, okay, that's that person. Okay, that's that person. Okay, I don't. Because yesterday, <laughs> you could have shown me a Zoe and I would have been so convinced <laughs> she was in that villa. Okay, cool. So let's start off with Nicole and Ayo. These were the first two people that we were introduced to. Um, let's start off with Nicole. So Nicole is 24. Now, I'm just going to nip this in the buds. This is just, you know, yeah. The fillers are aging the girls. Okay, the fillers are aging the girls because all of the, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say without me saying it. I know people do try to get them at young ages to try and prevent the wrinkle, but sometimes let the wrinkle wrinkle, sometimes just let it seep through because those girls look so much older than 24 is, yeah. But that's just that. Of course, we know that she is an accounts manager. She likes rugby guys. So rugby, by, rugby guys are usually her type. And her type is also tall, dark, and handsome. Obviously, she had already met Ayo at this point. And Ayo was getting a bit excited. And I was just thinking, guys, we need to understand that when this show means tall, dark, and handsome, they're not talking about our tall, dark, and handsome. When I think about tall, dark, and handsome, I'm thinking of chocolate. I'm talking 6'3". I'm talking deep skin. I'm talking a beard. Their tall, dark, and handsome is the tender man from Italy. <laughs> okay. So, of course, moving on to Ayo. Ayo's from East London, specifically Cannon Town. He is 25. He's a model, plays semi pro, and he is also six foot six. Um, one thing I did say yesterday was that I'm actually very happy that Ayo is introducing himself as Ayo. If you're Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about. I was scared I was going to hear, you know, Ayo and oh, my name's Ayo. No, my name is Ayo. Okay that's the name Maria had a little lamb period so I did definitely love that um he did say that his type was brunettes when he said brunettes he meant 1b <laughs> okay when I also said his type was brunette he meant sorry 1b and we're gonna get into that shortly as well um next up we have Jess Jess is 25 she has been single for two years and she works as a retail manager for Marks and Spencers Sam is 23 he's a hairdresser and he specializes in ladies hair so you know that's a little plus and he's been single for six months um Sean is 24 and he is a sweet salesman from TikTok me 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 or shall I say Michelle mm. ah God took his time God took his time. Mimi, fine wine. 
Mimi is fine wine. And if you don't agree, I am convinced you're a hater because she's a babe, <laughs> okay? So Mimi is 24. Um, oh, guys, she's absolutely stunning, okay? The body, when she came on the screen, I think she said, see body, see body, see body, mm! see body, ah. Uh. No, me, me. Mm. She's a mental health nurse and she's from Portsmouth. I'm screaming because I did see a tweet. Someone said, what's a, <laughs> someone said Portsmouth? What's a black babe like that doing in Portsmouth, okay? But honestly, chef's kiss absolutely stunning. And she, of course, introduced herself to Mimi to everyone. But when she saw I, she said, Mimi, Michelle. You know, she really gave that full government. Um, I'm not trying to get my hopes up to early and too quickly based on that interaction and we're going to move into them later on as well but Mimi and Aya will look really they'll look really good together but no Mimi that body told me to get in the gym get in the gym okay moving on to Samantha she is an MUA she's 26 from Liverpool I do think she looks older as well and I do think it is down to the fillers um she said her type is cockney that's the first time I've ever heard that I've never heard someone say that their type is cockney um, I'll be honest with you, I've never ever ever heard that. Let's move on to Patsy. I like Patsy. She's 29, very confident. She is from Bromley, aka Orpington. Um, well, Orpington, which is in Bromley. Um, and she is she did mention that she's a Sagittarius. Um I don't know if it's because I'm a believer, but I don't believe in horoscopes, to be honest with you. I, I, I feel like there's, yeah, there's some bondage when it comes to people like, oh, what's your star sign? Oh, I'm a this, yeah, we can't click. Like, for me personally, I always find that very interesting because if I lie and then you told me we click and then I told you the truth, ugh, then then what, what was this horoscope alignment thing that you were doing? Anyway, she says she likes guys who have hands-on jobs. Um, I like her. She seems very vibrant. Um, she does have a disability. So I think she said it's called herbs palsy because she didn't say it yet. I think she said it's called herbs. That's what I wrote down. Um, but her right hand is a bit smaller than her left. But I love the fact that that doesn't, you know, bother her at all. Um, and she's really confident. Like, you can't say you watch this show and you don't think Patsy's confident. And that's another thing, by the way. I only know... The people of colour and Patsy and Ronnie right now. But I'll get I'll get used to the rest of their names. I mean I'll make sure that I do. Um moving on to Ronnie. Ronnie is a semi-pro footballer from London. 27, South London by the way, 27, very confident. Um all these people that are pro footballers, everyday pro, I'm a pro footballer, I'm a pro footballer, like or semi-pro, shall I say? the semi-pro must not be semi-pro in because where are you guys finding time to come out of Ireland when there should be matches? Is there not football going on right now as we speak? Like, where are you guys coming from? Anyway, moving on to Kieran. So Kieran is 21 and he's a surveyor. He said he dated a 42-year-old at the age of 18. Security. <laughs> okay? Call security immediately. That's honestly not something that he should be disclosing. And that woman needs to go to jail. Moving on to Harriet. She said her type is also tall, dark, and handsome. She is allegedly 24. And she's a dance... Oh, gosh, I need to stop. <laughs> She's a dance teacher from Southampton. Um, her voice is new. That's what I'm gonna say. Her voice is new. I'm gonna say that. She's been single for four months, guys. If my ex went on Love Island, that means because someone said that the apparently the um application process is three months which means the second her and her man ended it she was on itv jobs <laughs> okay she was looking for love island but she, yeah she said that she is um a personal shopper and that her type are big businessmen um if that was my type i wouldn't even be on love island i'll be honest with you one of the businessmen contacts you'll just see me at your front door before you know it, we're in a relationship because yeah um, moving on to, um, lastly is Monver. So Monver is 30 years old and guys, Monver is good soup. Monver is good soup. You cannot tell me that that Matt, guys, he's fine. He's fine. And I don't, I don't even, you know, I don't even be looking that way, but Monver, yeah, he's fine. Okay. He's Indian. He is coyote. He's got gorgeous teeth and he is very, very, very confident. And he knows he's good looking as well. So moving on to Maya Jama walking in, looking fine and stunning as always. She said that it was time for a game and it was going to be the first impressions game. So they were going to rate the girls, the guy, the guys are going to rate the girls in terms of who they think felt like they were more girlfriend material. Um, and also the girls were going to do the same. So we know that the girls ranked one there as the most boyfriend material type of guy. And the least was Kieran and the boys ranked Mimi 
chef's kiss at number one and the least was harriet um sam and ayo are definitely feeling me by the way guys but we're gonna get into that shortly ah yeah we're gonna get into that shortly so of course um there was a cheeky plot twist all right and i won't lie when they gave the plot twist i was like wow y'all really you know y'all really switching things up so the plot twist was the order that they actually ranked the girls from one to six and also the guys from one to six was it six yeah one to six was actually going to be the first coupling so first couples we have is Mimi and Monver second was Nicole and Sean third was Jess and Ronnie fourth was Patsy and Ayo fifth was Samantha and Sam and fifth was Harriet and Kieran now as time was going on you guys know the conversations with the couples were why am I um stuttering I don't know why but anyway as you guys know as time was going on the conversations with the couples everyone is having their little chin wags getting to know each other um I only have a few things to say Mimi and Munver so I'm, I hope I'm saying his name right Munver I think it is Munver yeah I'll double check but I do think I am saying it right um someone <laughs> guys someone on Twitter said that they gave Mimi Rishi Sunak and that account needs to be banned <laughs> That account needs to be banned, okay? She did say she likes him, but her type, um, and her type is obviously her going for him or maybe going for Ayo, but you know, it's Ali dies. Um, the truth of the matter is, is Mimi doesn't like, Mimi's being polite. I do think she's being polite because even as she was speaking, she was just like, oh yeah, like, no, you're definitely my type. And yeah, Ayo's also my type as well, but we're gonna get into that shortly anyway. I think she's just being nice. She may find him attractive, but I don't think she does actually like him. Um, everyone else having a good chat and Ayo and Patsy were talking. Um, nothing is developing there, by the way. But guys, so, you know, prior there was... <laughs> oh, gosh. So, there, obviously, there was a game where they were speaking about their pet peeves. Like, oh, you know, like, things that they don't like. And, like, obviously, Patsy was like, oh, you know, I don't like a mommy's boy. You know, a guy that's always... Da -da -da -da. And then she came to confess to Ayo that she stays with her mum. And she... But she also shares a bed with her mum as well. Now, I'll be honest with you. It's a cause he lives. Do you know what I mean? It's a cause he lives. People got to do what they got to do. But people were pointing out, even like, yeah, people were pointing out that, okay, you're saying you don't like mommy's boys, but you and your mum literally sleep <laughs> bum to bum. People are just so unserious. So, of course, you guys know, it was their night time now, first night in the villa. Um, Nicole and Samantha were having a conversation, and she said that she fancies Ronnie a lot. Um, Ronnie... I also think it's quite interesting. I'm gonna get into him probably as the series goes on, but I think he seems quite huh, what's the word? Mysterious and not in a good way. And I don't know why I get that vibe with him, but something is off about that guy, and I feel like time is gonna tell. I feel like time is gonna tell. Of course, you know that Ayo now ended up pulling Mimi for a chat, and I'm not gonna lie, Ayo needs to compose himself because if he if he does too much too soon, Mimi's gonna get the ick. Like they were having a com every time Mimi talks, hi my <laughs> anytime, anything Mimi says, Ayo was yeah, holding his bed. Yeah, yeah. Babe, you need to I like you've been here before. Ayo, you be happy like you've never seen woman before. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> okay. Ayo, like, yeah. Ayo was complimenting her lips, like, yeah, like you're my type, like, I like you. I did that, did it. And don't get me wrong, I do feel like Mimi is feeling Ayo's vibe as well. I feel like she doesn't really have a choice because maybe Ayo's really the only person giving him her time as well. But I need Ayo to relax, okay? The eye chemistry, I won't lie, was definitely up there, but he needs to relax, okay? Riz is a it's a subtle thing all right not that i would know but yeah riz is a subtle thing you can't do too much too soon you've got to really ease your way in um so yeah i just need him to act like he's been here before and of course when Vers saw that ayo and mimi were having a conversation and he was talking to patsy and he was like oh yeah i feel like um i feel like she's yeah i feel like she's just saying that she likes me but yeah yeah that's exactly what it is so i'm really glad he's read the room i mean he's 30 if you couldn't read the room at that age i would be a bit worried but that's that and then of course you know my jama walks in again looking chef's kiss as always and she let them know that there was a plot twist and guys what was the plot twist what was the plot twist say it with me one two three joey essex what is joey essex doing on this show what is Joey Essex? I, I keep telling these Love Island producers that they need to hire me when it comes to casting. Unless his agent is working overtime, I don't understand what, what Joey Essex is. Like, the second he walked in, do you know what's even funny? The second he walked in, I thought he was Ron. <laughs> do you remember Ron? Oh, gosh. And then as he got close, I just said, ah, is that not, is that not 
Joey Essex. I don't know what Joey Essex is doing on the show. He is 33. Um, you guys know I do not age shame over here. I do feel like everyone deserves to find love. But for Joey Essex, he's been on multiple reality TV shows and it's for me it's just given they needed to add a celebrity in there because it's not like he needs the 50k he, he is already well off um maybe it's just the way because people stopped speaking about joey essex for a while and he also changed his look as well maybe it's just a way for us to get the conversations about him going again but i honestly don't know what joey essex is doing um yeah when he walked in i literally sighed because i just said <sighs> I, I I didn't really understand the point. So now let's move on to episode two, which is today's episode. So of course, you know that Joey was then told that he was going to be able to pick a girl in the next 24 hours. And the girl that he picks, whoever she's in a couple with, that guy will be dumped from the villa, which I thought was quite harsh considering it definitely is early days. But dumping someone after 24 hours is jail okay electric chair okay y'all need the electric chair so um of course you guys know they ended up playing a game of straight dares i'm not going to get into all of it because i feel like you guys know this when it comes to a lot of these games i know it's love island but i feel like it's just a bit the questions and the, like i keep saying ask people how many countries have they visited so, like has every is there is there anyone here who's visited every continent in the world like these are good questions to be asking i don't want to hear kiss the three people you want a threesome with like that's just that's just not my vibe but anyway um you guys know that they ended up playing a game and we'll get into a few of them so Mimi was asked to stop the islander that she'll prefer to be in a couple with and of course she kissed Ayo <sighs> ah, I had to cover my eyes child <laughs> okay because they were I don't want to get my hopes up for a melanin couple so early on because that's how they disappoint me. That's how I can maybe see a brunette that's not 1B coming and his head can just do black fits. So, um, you know, but Minbear was looking a bit mad and it's very interesting because I did feel like he should have read the room. I do think Mimi's being very nice and kind by being with him, but I don't think she's interested in him like that. Um, I forgot who kissed Ayo, one of the Oyubo babes, but their foundation went on his top lip and no one told him. <laughs> like no one told him it was looking a bit mad of course patsy was asked to suck someone's finger and she sucked him on bears one that was heavy on the disgusting i'm so sorry heavy on the disgusting that is i cannot you know people go to the toilets and they don't wash their hands some people actually go to the toilets and they don't wash their hands and i know this because one time even whilst i was at work i went to the toilet and another lady went to the toilet and i kid you not i heard her come out of her cubicle and walk straight outside some people are, yeah. So that was very interesting. Um, Ronnie was asked to kiss the Islander with the best body. <sighs> and this is how I know that this show is very unserious because why was Mimi not the first person that you ran up to? Why was Mimi not the first person that you ran up to? Okay. Because he kissed Nicole and Jess. He even went to Nicole first. <laughs> okay. He even went to... Hey. anyway that's how i know this island isn't serious okay that's how i know um of course moving on to ronnie and jess so of course they were up on the terrace having a little chin wag and then they ended up having a kiss um she ended up telling mimi and she seemed like jess was doing quang 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 breaking news <laughs> okay everyone must know that i kissed ronnie i kissed ronnie on the terrace yeah it was just a little kiss yeah i had a kiss with him yeah yeah i just had a kiss with ronnie yeah Everybody and their mom knew Jess and Ronnie K I S S I G. Okay. The following morning, they were just having general conversations and chit chats. Um, specifically Joey. Joey was kind of bouncing around the entire villa, getting to know different girls because we know that <laughs> tonight you are picking somebody and their man is going home. So he did have a few conversations with the girls. Um, I'm not surprised as to who he picked, if I'll be honest with you. But um, he first did speak with um Jess, and I would say that I did really appreciate that. Um, um, conversation if that makes sense so they were of course speaking about you know personal things and they were quite open and transparent with one another and he did of course tell her that you know um he lost his mom and he hasn't really he lost his mom when he was really young and he didn't really feel comfortable speaking about it till he was like in his 30s and things like that and i did think that was quite nice i guess that probably was quite nice for him to also get off his chest as well um and just open up to someone in the villa about it so i did really appreciate that heart to heart and i'm very glad that it was a positive one with jess and um, we do know he was speaking to other girls 
girls as well and my prediction already was that he was either going to pick Harriet or Samantha because they definitely seem like his type I didn't see him pull Mimi for a chat and I'm not saying guys that you know oh yeah because she's black you're making it out that she's black because there's always one troll in my comments that do that all the, that does that every season every season they're in my comments like oh I really like Sarah but I hate the way she roots for black people I am black duh why wasn't I root for a black person but I didn't see that conversation take place maybe he did pull her for a chat and we didn't see it on camera maybe he didn't pull her for a chat because she's not his type but you guys know I'm always going to look to see the little things that they don't show us. I'm also going to speak about it on this channel. Um, of course, we then know that they ended up getting a text that it was time for Joey to make his decision. This was later on at night. Um, and I'm not surprised as to who he chose. So, of course, you know that Joey ended up choosing Samantha, which meant that Sam was unfortunately dumped from the villa. And I have to be honest with you. <sighs> If I have gone through a three month application process, packed a bag, traveled, unpacked, and started to get with the ribbon and the vibe, you would have to get security. <laughs> security has to drag me out of that villa because in me, as I'm sitting, I'm not going nowhere. I am not leaving because what do you mean you're dumping someone after 24 hours? <laughs> What do you mean you're dumping somebody after 24 hours? I'm sorry, that is, ah, it's, it's a cold world out there, okay? You're actually gonna have to drag me, you're gonna have to drag me by my singlet. You have to drag me by my singlet like this before I leave a villa after I have just unpacked, <laughs> okay? You have to tear my singlet in 4K because there's no way that I'm leaving. But we know that Sam, of course, was dumped from the villa. Um, and it was a bit sad, obviously, because he literally just arrived. He didn't even really get to know him like that. But also number two, because I don't really see Joey's position and point being in this season and being in this filler as well I yeah it's it's really interesting it, it kind of feels yeah it just feels a bit weird so we'll see how things go on he does he did say sorry that he does want to find love this season so let's see you never know like, honestly you just never know of course he did end up getting a glimpse into tomorrow's episode in which I saw Harriet dancing for Joey with no music on <laughs> guys I'm so shy already guys i'm so shy as in the second they showed that on you know tomorrow night i had to close my laptop because what do you mean you're dancing for a guy with no music on <laughs> oh gosh i don't know what to say but guys that is pretty much the end of episode one and episode two so far i do feel like it's going to be an okay -ish season yeah, I feel like it's going to be an okay season. I think the season's actually going to be quite good, which I'm quite interested to see. Like I did say, I'm easing my way back into content. So I'm, I would love to get your feedback if you guys would like daily reviews, maybe weekly reviews. I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing, <laughs> if I'm going to be honest with you. But I am very happy to be back and to just be okay and be in... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, if you watch the video, you know exactly what I'm speaking about, but yeah, I just wanna thank God that I'm doing okay. And I'm just happy to have such a supportive community online that just believe in me and support me and encourage me and tear my singlet sometimes as well. Um, it's fun, you guys know we love to tear singlets here. But um, yeah, guys, that's the end of today's review. I really hope you guys did like it. I would love to know your feedback down below, how you're finding the season so far. Are you looking forward to it? Who's your favorite character? Who's your least favorite? Um, we're literally early days in, so I can't really say too much but review the episodes, but you guys know I'm always gonna give my little commentary here and there as always if you haven't yet subscribed be sure to subscribe you on the road to 30k honey so if you haven't yet subscribed be sure to subscribe and definitely join the family um but yeah other than that i want to thank you guys for watching i cannot believe we are here i'll be honest with you i can't believe we're recording reviews again and we're sitting down here but god is good god is real good and life is beautiful so we need to celebrate each and every day and do the things that make us happy Okay, that went motivational real quick, so I'm going to bounce. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please take care, stay blessed, and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.